hit up the clothing shop so I stop looking like a dink. Look, easy is cool. There's nothing we can do to fix that shit and make him not look like a dink. But I'll try. Where's the clothing shop? Not the ferry terminal. <laughs> Unless I want to dress like a sailor. Uh, there's one in this town, right? I think I remember them talking about it earlier. What is this? Just an empty lot. Okay. Sadbot, you're amazing. What? Who's Sadbot? City Hall. You like how early they give you access to salon and eye contacts? Awesome. Uh, can I get access to this on right now? Like, is it in this town? Please catch something. I know I want to catch something. Believe me. The game just hasn't let me. Because the game has been just giving me, like, tons of plot and stuff. Is it this place? No. The empty lot is, like, the one in Vermilion in Gen 1 with Machop stomping the ground for building. Oh, okay. Oh, is it? No, that's a coffee shop. I was there earlier little shopping mall down from there. You can open the gates. I'm just gonna... Where's my map? Like, uh, like a full zoomed out map. Is there, is there one? That's the salon, not a coffee shop? Really? Looks like a coffee shop. Oh no, it's got barber scissors. Never mind. Can I make this dink look like me instead? I had to pay you before I even know what the hairstyle's gonna look like? Oh, don't tell me I don't get to even see what it looks like. What is this? I really don't get to see what it looks like beforehand. I mean, that's better. It's a better hairstyle, yeah. Alright, I need to heal. Should I save before the cut? Eh, we can live with it. You can take your hat off. Can I just, like, take it off right now? Or do I need to buy the ability to take it off? Because that would be weird. Right next to the cafe? Okay, I think I remember where the cafe was. And by I think I remember, I probably won't remember. It's, uh... You know, we're, we're about to go to the, to the, pl the clothing store anyway. We'll just go there first. So you said it's next... Uh, it's next door. Got it. So there's the barber. Clothing, there we go. It's got a shirt with a rainbow and a, and a cloud. Oh, I don't exist, I'm a vampire. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Taking your hat off is 9.99. Or sorry, 99, thanks EA. What's with my stance here? Okay, hold on. Can we get my tank top? How close can we get to my tank top? Uh, we're into T's. I mean, hold on, let me bring this up so I can see myself here. Cause I'm actually wearing one right now. In fact, mine's a hell of a lot more Hawaiian than any of these. <sighs> okay. Ex enjoy expensive shit? Yes, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Spam memes don't, don't spam chat, everybody. <laughs> I like a legible chat so that I can, like, talk to you guys. Different cities have different clothes? I, I figured, yeah. <laughs> I like the surfing Pikachu on that one. And there's, like, a rainbow wave. It's riding the rainbow. Some kind of Skittles shit. 
Kind of like that one. A lot of choices. Pitiful variety. All right, when I said a lot of choices. Uh, I gotta go with that one for now. That's pretty great. Okay, so what am I wearing right now for pants? Okay, that. Okay. I'm kind of a jeans guy. Can we get any no jeans here? Okay, we'll just go with, with that then. Shame. Alright, what are my shoes? Is just okay. Oh, this is socks right now. You can barely fucking see them! Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that. No shoes. Oh, it's the color of the stripe on it, a trail bee. Um, I used to own a couple trail bees. I don't know where they are now. Probably storage. Um, I do like this more than our current hat. Oh, that's really expensive. Here we go. We spruced it up a little. Oh, does our guy have no socks on? Oh, no, that bugs me now that you pointed it out. Yeah, that's awful. Don't wear shoes without socks, guys. There, just some plain white socks. That's what I wear most of the time. I do also have my Conrad Von Hudson socks, which I very much love. Why didn't he put the new clothing on? Thanks for subbing on YouTube. Did I misclick something here? Was I clicking through the dialogue and did a dumb? You didn't put them on. How do I put them on? You pressed B. Dressing room inside the shop. God, I can't just change my clothing in the middle of the streets. Damn. Bad video game. You did a dumb? I did a dumb. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. So I, can I really, okay, so I can pick to have no hat on, because he does have pretty nice hair. Yeah, I think I want to go with no hat for now. It's okay, everybody. You didn't show up to this stream because you thought I was smart. <laughs> that hairstyle bothers you? Why? It's like, it's really good. Look at that, like, the, it's the perfect hair swoop thing. It's pretty good. Makes me think a bit of Dean Cuddy. Me and Dean Cuddy have got to do some kind of video together someday. Does anyone here watch Mathis Games or Judge Mathis? And you know his editor, Dean Cuddy. Uh, me and me and Cuddy are friends. We want to work on something together sometime. He's a cool guy. And goddamn, does he have some nice hair? Pays 8k for hat, doesn't wear it. I'm amazed with your YouTube channel. I'm happy you like it. I hope you like the Let's Play stuff, because, like, a lot of people are just going to watch the Pokemon challenges, and that's fine if that's what you're into. But as much as people like that, I do still think my best, uh, my best videos by far are my Let's Plays. I love improv humor, so. <sighs> I'll pet the stupid bull. I like how he's like, I'm a Pokemon master. I can't calm him down. Child, you go towards the raging bull. Yeah, that's safe. All the talking in game is is just shite. I know, right? It's so much. Like, I'm cool with plotting games, but man, let me catch some Pokemon. Like, there we go. There's like a thing in the grass there. I want to go bump into that. Let's catch something. Oh, sweet Drowsy, this is my favorite Pokemon, everybody. Let's catch a Drowsy. This is my favorite Pokemon. I love Drowsy. I'm watching some Let's Plays. Awesome. Uh, I have like, I've done like fucking hundreds of Let's Plays over the last eight years. 
Oh, actually, I've been doing YouTube for like nine years, but I've doing, been doing a video a day for for eight. So that's usually the number I give because it's more impressive. Let's me flex my ego. I'm sick of flexing my muscles. I have to flex my ego now. I can probably just catch him now. Or her. I told you uh, this last time we were here, if you remember. Yes, I do remember you told me that there was an upcoming place where I could get. Or at least someone told me that there's an upcoming place where I could get drowsy. Damn. You see, Drowsy broke out because he's so damn awesome. That's why. No, nothing wrong with being proud of yourself? You aren't putting it down or anything? Oh yeah, I, I didn't say there's anything wrong with being proud of yourself. It's good to be proud of yourself. It's healthy. When you're proud of yourself, you want to better yourself and become a better person. It's not egotistical. Some people think it's egotistical. I don't think it is. Um, being proud of yourself is cyclical. Me being proud of myself is what got me to start working out and take my health seriously. And now that I have all this muscle that I didn't used to have, I'm more proud of myself because I can look at myself and I can say, look, my hard work paid off. It's physically on my body, you know? And then on my channel, my hard work paid off. Um, when I was about to turn 26 years old, I'm 26 right now. I'm, I'm almost 27. I'll be 27 late September. I made three goals for myself that I said, I gotta reach these three goals before I'm 27. I gotta get partnered on Twitch. I wasn't. I need to get to 12% body fat. I was 18%, which is much higher. And I need to get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now, I was only at 50,000, so that's huge amount. I normally gain like 10,000 a year. So that was kind of a shoot for the moon one, you know? Um, but it motivated me. It motivated me really, really hard. Because you look at me now, my birthday's not until the end of next month. I'm a partner on Twitch. My body fat percentage is 11, so lower than 12. Is it by chance September 27th? No, 22nd for me. Um, and I was I was originally nowhere close to 100,000 subscribers. Then my, my Pokemon challenges, I work so hard on them, they start getting big. It's looking like I'm gonna get hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of this month. So I'm already making goals for when, for when I turn 27 to get before I'm 28. Let's get rid of Tackle, because we already have Quick Attack and that's similar but better. Congratulations on, congratulations on achieving your goal, thank you. I recommend everybody does the same. Set goals like that, it sounds cheesy, but it genuinely actually helped me a lot. You went from 24% body fat to 17.5 in six months, still going? That's awesome, man. See, that that's even more impressive than my body fat loss, because I was only at 18%, you know? That's overweight, but that's not awful. 24%, that's clinically obese. So going from 24 to 17, like, that's really hard. So good on you. That's awesome. If you're 28th build, uh... A birthday you want to become you want to officially become PewDiePie Canada right yes I I am in fact the CEO of PewDiePie Canada <laughs> all right I gotta name it first name I see in the chat is is strange dash all right you're my favorite Pokemon uh, and then the shift was down there uh, how, how do you spell All right, I'm missing the E, but that's as close as we can get. Here we go. You are my favorite Pokemon. Let's get you on the team. Okay, who do we not want right now? So I'm still not sure like who I want on the team. Um, we'll keep the new bird. I like Wingull, but we'll keep the new bird. Um, so we'll get scattered in the box and we'll get Strange Tash onto the team. Oh, I think that Pokemon that was like the the rustling in the bushes ran at me. Makihita, I like this one. Okay. I can dig it. I like fighting types. Makes me think of wrestling. You know I love wrestling. In fact, there's a pay-per-view on tonight. I'm watching uh, TakeOver Toronto tonight. In fact, I live very close to Toronto. That's where my mom lives. And I used to live in Toronto. Pause the slowpoke. You'll need uh, Wingo for water and Drazi for saving there. I kind of like, I, I like uh, slowpoke though. 
Oof. Crit me too. Any fellow Canadians in the chat? Your first Pokemon game was Colosseum. I never played Colosseum. I know very little about it. I'm pretty sure what a geek let's played Colosseum back in the day, though. Mechia is supposed to be a sumo wrestler? I believe so. You wish you're Canadian? It's a weird thing to wish to want to be. The fact that you like wrestling makes me even more sad you don't take starters with you. Yeah, I know, the fire one becomes a heel wrestler. Yeah, I know, we talked about that on the last stream of it. Um, he becomes Incineroar or whatever, he does the Lariat, he's a heel. Uh, which is why he's dark type, because that's like villain type in Japan. So he can't be fighting type, because in Japan that's hero type. Alright, first name is seen the chat. Mega Miner. Have you already been in? I don't remember. Is that how you spell it? But with a D at the end. There we go. Alberta, nowhere near Ontario. Yeah, Alberta's really far away. I like Alberta more than I like Ontario, but I'm in Ontario. Do you like your- uh, do you like pancakes because you're Canadian? No, I like pancakes just because they're great. I like protein pancakes a lot. Wisconsin, that is quite close to Canada. In fact, um, you border, um, I believe you border Ontario, although not the part that I'm in. I'm in eastern, southern Ontario, which is where most people in Ontario are. Um, I don't know who I want to deposit for this. All right, let's fight, uh, actually, I should go heal. I find how really annoying so far. You know, I appreciate that the Poke Center is pretty close to the route, so it's not too long of a walk. Favorite Canadian-related food? There aren't many. Uh, probably poutine. Butter tarts are pretty good. Um, homemade butter tarts are good. Some bakery butter tarts are good. Some store brand butter tarts are really lame. Um, coffee crisp? If we're counting, like, Canadian desserts, then uh, coffee crisp and, and Nanaimo bars. I wish the rest of the world had those, because those are both very good. What a weird Pokemon for her to have. What do you think of Lily? Is she the blonde one? No strong, um... No strong opinion so far. Explain why Canadian bacon isn't Canadian. Uh, there is no such thing as Canadian bacon. That is what Americans call female bacon, but they usually actually just call ham that. I actually made a tutorial video on this once because I was so sick of people with this misconception. So I'm just gonna link it in the chat real quick. This, this is what everyone tuned in for, right? I'm just gonna search my videos and search bacon. Here you go. This video's from like a year old, so I have my old hair and everything, and I'm way heavier, but there you go. There's no such thing as Canadian bacon. Uh, you have been lied to. Literally, we have a thing called female bacon. If you, or if you go to a restaurant and you order bacon, you get bacon, the same as every other country. Like, back bacon. If you go, if you ask for female bacon, you get female bacon. If you ask for Canadian bacon, they don't know what the fuck you're talking about because there's no such thing as Canadian bacon. If you go to America and you ask for Canadian bacon, they give you a slice of ham, which is not bacon and not female bacon. Cemetery, let's go to the cemetery. Yay. Yeah, Canadian bacon is back bacon from Canadians. From all the Canadians that you murder all the time. I mean, who doesn't? 
So is Canadian bacon bacon in Canada? No, there is literally no such thing as Canadian bacon. I like Diglett. Is this really an appropriate place to be fighting? Is it a good idea to have Pokemon that use Dig in a cemetery? That, that sounds like a bad idea, guys. I don't think we should be digging holes in the cemetery. <laughs> this is a recipe for disaster. What's an office worker doing in a graveyard? Uh, I thought he was mourning the dead, but it turns, he's, it turns out he's actually just here to assault miners. Favorite bug type? Pinsir? Pinsir or Heracross? Those are some badass bug types. I like those Pokemon. I like bug Pokemon in general. They're pretty cool. There's a lot of really interesting bug Pokemon. Place a pretty beat up for a cemetery? Or upbeat for a cemetery. I misread that. Because I was going to say, this cemetery is way nicer than my local cemetery. Are Canadians lumberjacks? Not all. I fell a tree before, though. But I, you know, I live in, I live in Ontario, and most of Ontario is a forest. So, you know. Scrolliped, it's a horse-sized venomous, horse-sized venomous centipede. Everyone who's afraid of centipedes, don't Google Canadian house centipede. Don't come to Canada. <laughs> it's. I know Canadians always like pretending like our country is the coolest thing in the world. And like, everyone's like, oh, I need to visit Canada. That place seems really awesome. Dude, there's so much they're not telling you about Canada. <laughs> Canadian house centipede if you need some nightmare fuel. This is why we have to keep our place like really clean. Because you don't want Canadian house centipedes. Uh, okay, so Makita wants fake out. I do like fake out. I really don't like focus energy. But I'm never gonna use focus. I'm never gonna use um, tackle, am I? I'll get rid of tackle. Er, mm. Two to five times in a row, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of tackle. Gonna Google that show now, or that shit now? What shit? What shit are you googling? I'm confused. Sorry, I missed something. Oh, you're Googling the Canadian House of Fiends. There you go. Shit's scary as hell. Yeah, it's awful. Canadian House Centipedes are the thing of nightmares. And they're fast. And they're hard to kill. You can stomp them like 10 times and they just don't die. You gotta like actually like get a Kleenex and like crush them, you know? You can't just stomp the thing. Why did you try to tell me to Google that? Yeah, everyone who's afraid of bugs is just gonna stop watching now. Also, their defense mechanism for trying to get away from you is hilarious. If they feel like they're trapped, they detach their legs. But if if you hit it hard enough, it's gonna die anyway, so it just explodes into a pile of legs. <laughs> Cause it, it doesn't know what to do, so it just blows off all of its own legs in hopes it can get away. <laughs> Look, it's not a well-designed insect. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go heal. Canada's a bit of an Australia. Canada and Australia are similar in a lot of ways, but in the scary animal way, Australia is much, much worse. Don't- in editing, don't put those pictures in the video. Of course I won't. <laughs> I'll talk about it a little. I'm not gonna fucking subject people to that terrifying shit. And I thought I'd like being in Canada. No. That's the thing is Canadians won't tell you the bad parts about Canada. I will. I will gladly tell you about all the reasons why you probably shouldn't move to Canada. There's much better countries to make. If you're looking for a new country, there's much better picks than Canada. Do you want to get taxed like- do you want to get taxed and have an insanely high cost of living? As if you're in California, but without any of the benefit? Come to Ontario. 
So you aren't Canadian? No, I'm Canadian. I'm just the one who will tell you the bad things. Scorpions like crazy in Phoenix, Arizona? I've heard. All those kinds of spiders too, yeah. Is that just gonna be another Makahita? Oh, it's one of these guys. We already have one. Yet Mr. Viss at night in the cemetery. Awesome. Let's go up here. I want to fight another trainer. Any up here? I don't like how zoomed in the camera always feels. Or is this another town? It's like a mini town. It's a building there. How much plot have you gone before Route Fucking 2? I know, right? Wasps around you, nest and door frames. Yeah, they do that here too. Ontario is like bug central because the natural landscape is lakes, hills, and forests. So even if you live in the city, there's just so many bugs around. Which, I, you know, I live in the city. I grew up, um, I grew up in, uh, in the countryside, though, for my first nine and a half years. Well, more realistically, it's like nine years and ten months, something like that. Sure, just follow random Pokemon. No way it could lead me astray. Not seeing many berries in this berry field. What's happened plot-wise? We've learned that the Skull Gang are bad guys and that they're just a bunch of, like, street punks, basically. First stream view, but big fan of the YouTube channel. Thank you for coming to the stream, I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy all my big dumb Let's Plays. Oh man, these guys can't be the bad guys, they use Drowsy. They're the coolest. Delibird must be really uncomfortable in Pokey Hawaii. I never thought about that, yeah. <laughs> the game actually tells me it's super effective, that's kind of funny. In fairness, now that Fairy type exists, I probably could use the reminder. I've This is the first time, first time I've ever played a Pokemon game with Fairy type. What's the team so far? Just a bunch of random Pokemon that I caught and named after the chat. So it's it's nothing too organized yet. Right now I'm kind of feeling like my main though is Silverfin. I'm really digging this di this dark type uh, Rattata because I like I like Rattata a lot and the design of this one is very cool. Best and worst reason to live in Canada. I mean that depends on your values, I guess. You know, what What do you care the most about? First stream after, my friend. For the journey sickness video, that's awesome! Uh, I don't know if you saw the Pokemon uh, Platinum Pikachu challenge I did today on YouTube, but for the journey is in that video. I told everyone to go follow him on Twitter. Because he, he helped me out, he gave me a really good idea on Twitter for one of the gym leaders. And it, it helped me out. All right, give me the berries. How do I feel about Dark Normal Zigzagoon? I haven't seen it, uh, but I don't know. That sounds like a fine type combo. I'm going to break into your house. I'm going to raid your fridge. I can't. Life sucks. These are the most bored looking Pokemon in the world. I do kind of like that they turn to look at me when I get close, at least. Oh, I can't trample the fields? Oh man, now I want to play Harvest Moon. This looks so Harvest Moon, doesn't it? Man, 